question now I am uh, now I am just converting in little logical way. Now new average will depends on various different value of n. Then just suppose if different value of n means number of innings are there, then we will get the different value of average and different value of distribution distribution of the numbers. Then how to identify? Then we have to put little bit condition and we will identify and we will able to understand how it will change. Now how many different value of n is possible to keep average of Dhoni and integral value? Now I put one more condition. Now you find the different value of n number of innings if average of the Dhoni is not becoming the fractional number. Means earlier it was 65, maybe it will increase by some number, maybe it will become 70, 72, whatever will be there, but it will be an integral value. Another condition n should be greater than 2 and you should not take 0 or 1 or 2. You have to take more than 2. Means number of innings will be always integer. It will not be fraction. You can't say Dhoni has played 4.5 innings. You can't say. Dhoni has played Dhoni has played 10.5 uh, innings. Not possible. Either he will play 10, 10 innings or 11 innings. Then n will be automatically integer. Then here n cannot be possible 0, 1 and 2. Means afterwards whatever you are getting the integral value of n that will be acceptable. Then how to understand this little bit we will apply number concept due to I am telling number is applicable everywhere. Without number concept you will feel, you will feel problem to solve any cat any cat level problem. Because number is so universal concept it can be merged with any of the mathematical concept of data anal analysis concept. And you can say it will make the question more suitable for aptitude based or cat level. Then n plus 1 will be equal to the factor of 20. n plus 1 can be factor of 24. Then only it will be an integer. If just suppose 24 by something x or here it is given n plus 1. If n plus 1 is not, not a factor of 24, I am not telling n plus 1 integer. It will be integer. But integer many of the value can be possible. If n equal to 23, n equal to 22, then 22 plus 1, 23, 24 by 23, it will not integer. Then your new average 65 plus 24 by n plus 1 cannot be an integer. But here condition is given, your new average should be an integer. Then what will happen? What will do? n plus 1 should be a factor of 24. 24 you will just prime factorize 2 to the power q into 3, total factor 8. Out of 8, few have few we have to discard because condition has given n is greater than 2. Then factors will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. These 8 factors will be there. These 8 factors. Out of that, 1, 2 and 3 is not possible because n plus 1 you are taking 3 then n will become 2 and question is telling n is greater than 2. Then minimum value we have to start 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. Means total 5 different value of n will be possible. Just we'll look. n plus 1 equal to 4 then n will be equal to 3. Average will become 6 plus 65. 24 by 4. 24 by n plus 1. This only we are doing, nothing else. n plus 1 is 4. Then 24 by 4, it will become 6. 6 plus 65, we will get the new average that is 71. If n plus 1 is 6, total number of inning will be 5. Average will become 4 plus 65, 69. Similarly, you got all the value. Means 5 different average value you can get. And all value will be more than 